Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment my videos. And today we're going to do this lovely pattern for this beautiful cross. Now uh, for this cross, I have used a traditional granny square method. And I hope you're going to like my today's tutorial. So let's begin. Now for this cross pattern, I've used my 100% cotton yarn and I've used my 3 mm of the hook so let's begin so for this cross have any color of your yarn i'm going to use my white color of the yarn and make a magic circle now for the magic circle just put your uh, yarn around your fingers like this have your two fingers like this and put them around put the yarn around your fingers and make a cross here just make an axe here like this and put your yarn in this way now take your hook and insert your hook in uh, below your first strain of yarn and above your second strain of yarn. Now grab your yarn like this and turn it. Twist this in a way and this is your magic circle. Your magic circle has been created. Now take your working yarn and just chain up one. And that is how you're going to secure your yarn. So it is like this. Now here. We are going to chain up three. So as we have chained up one here, we are going to chain up another two. One and two. So chain three here. And now have your another two double crochet. So first chain three will, will count as your uh, first double crochet. And now do another two double crochets here. So it's one and two like this. Now we are going to chain up three, one, two, and three, and we're going to do another three double crochets into this magic circle. One, two, and three. Now again, chain three, one, two, and three and keep on repeating it so as we have done two sets of this three double crochets we're going to do another two sets of three double crochets as we have been working on this middle part so just chain up three do another three double crochets then chain up three and do another last set of three double crochets and then chain up three and i'm going to meet you here at the end okay so i've done my another two sets of uh, three double crochets and i'm gonna chain up three and that's gonna be my last chain threes so one two and three and i'm gonna attach my work on this one so i'm gonna attach on third chain here from the beginning so it's it is one two and three so i'm just gonna insert my hook into this third chain from the beginning and we'll grab the arm And we'll make a slip stitch here. Like this. Now pull your loose end so that your work will be tight. And my work looks like this. Now, we for round number two, we are going to do a slip stitch here. So we're going to do a slip stitch on this second double crochet from the previous round. And on the third double crochet from the previous round. Just make a slip stitch and here we have our chain three part we're gonna insert our hook into this chain three and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make our last sing uh, slip stitch here sorry this is a slip stitch so make a last slip stitch here now as we are here on chain three space we are gonna chain up three one two and three now yarn over and insert your hook and make another two double crochets so that's our first double crochet and that's our second double crochet like this now chain up three one two and three and here on this chain three space we are going to do another two double crochets so just yarn over insert your hook do one and two double crochets like this now chain up three, 
one two and three and we are going to insert our hook into this double crochet so just insert your hook into that double crochet grab your yarn and make a slip stitch here like this so here we have chained up three and this chain three will count as our first double crochet then two double crochets then chain three then another two double crochets and then again chain three as this chain three will count as our last double crochet so we are going to need our two sets of three double crochets but this first chain three will count as our first double crochet and this chain three at the last will count as our last double crochet like this now again we're going to make three slip stitches so insert your hook into your second double crochet we are going to repeat our pattern now insert your hook into your third double crochet like this and make a slip stitch and insert your hook into this chain three space grab your yarn and make a slip stitch last slip stitch like this now we're going to again repeat this pattern so chain up three one two three two double crochets so it's one and two now again chain up three one two and three now again do two double crochets so one and two chain up three one two and three now this three chains will count as our last double crochet so we can insert our hook into this first double crochet and grab the yarn and make a slip stitch here like this now uh, keep on doing this so do another um two sets of three double crochets on this chain three space and do not work on this last chain three space as i will tell you what to do on this last three chain chain three space so one two and do it for the third time here and i'm going to meet you what to and will tell you what to do on this side so keep on doing on this one okay so i have done this uh, three sides now for the last one here just keep on doing your slip stitches so as i have made my first slip stitch here on my first double crochet and i'm gonna do another two so uh, slip stitches so it's a one two and the third slip stitch would be my would be in my chain three space and it is here it's done now again chain up three one two and three do another two double crochets so it's one and two chain up three one two and three now do another three double crochets on this line so one two and three so for the very last time for this very fourth um, chain three space do last three double crochets do not chain three here at the end do your double crochet so here it is it looks like this after my round number two and it is all done so we have started off from here and one two three and four we have done it from for until here now we're going to do another two sets of three double crochets here so for that one just chain up one turn your work and do your another slip stitches so just insert your hook into your first double crochet from the back side and make a slip stitch here do another time and do it for the last time so directly go on your chain three space and make your slip stitch here just do it like this okay so your last slip stitch would be in your chain three space now here chain up three one two and three let's do another two double crochet here so it's one and two now again chain three one two and three and let's do another three double crochets here on this chain three space one two and three now again chain one turn your work and do exactly the same as what we have done here so just do your slip stitches 
So insert your hook and do your first slip stitch. Now insert your hook and do your second slip stitch. And insert your hook in last time, the third time, in your chain three space. Grab your yarn and make a slip stitch here. Now again, for the very last time, chain up three, one, two, and three. Do another two double crochets here into this chain three space. So it's one and two. Now chain up three, one, two, and three. And for the very last time, do another three double crochets on this on this chain three space. So just yarn over and do your one, two, and third, and the last double crochet, and your cross is ready like this. Now we're going to cut the yarn and we're going to put our loose ends in and I'm going to meet you after that. And here it is. It is ready. And I hope you have liked my today's tutorial. If you have liked, please like, share and comment to my videos. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you into the next video. Till then, bye.